Hello, Gabriel Mays for GabrielMays.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take and apply a 235 to 1 cropping to your Premiere Pro sequence, as well as how to export your uh, files out for Vimeo in 235 to 1 without any letterboxing. So I have a project here, it's a documentary I shot a while back, and I wasn't planning on it being 235 to 1, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, what a lot of people do is they'll go to Transform and Crop in Premiere and they'll apply the default crop markings to it. And then they'll just crop down the top and the bottom uh, to a certain percentage. Uh, this works to an extent. Um, so I can achieve the 235 to 1 look that I want there. The problem is, is when I need to readjust for headroom, when I want to move my position up and down on my uh, image here, uh, what happens is the crop is applied to the position and to the clip. So when I move the position, the crop moves with it. So I'm constantly having to move the bottom up or down and the top up or down or whatever. So I don't recommend using the, the built-in uh, crop transform feature in Premiere. What I've done instead is I had a friend of mine make me an anamorphic crop um, template in Adobe Photoshop. And he saved it out as a PNG. The center is just an alpha channel. So if you drag that on the timeline here, and I stretch it out over top of everything. What I'm essentially doing is I'm creating a mat over the top of everything. Now I have this 235 to 1 cropping over the top of everything here. Now when I want to adjust for cropping, now when I move my position down, it will only move my footage and not the cropping because the cropping is on its own track, it's its own file. This also saves a little bit of time in rendering. It doesn't have to apply this to, every, you don't have to go through and apply this to every single uh, piece of footage that you have. You can just apply it at the end over the top of everything and then adjust for headroom. Now I've got everything the way that I want it. I'm going to go File, Export, Media. And when this pops up here, I'm going to choose uh, a preset uh, format called H.264. And I've gone ahead and I've made a template in here for my Vimeo preset. And um, what that is, is I've just applied some, some uh, settings that I like. If you want to know more about those settings, you can watch another tutorial I did called uh, How to Export for Vimeo from Adobe Premiere. But I'm not going to cover that in this one. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to adjust this so that uh, it's now 235 to 1 instead of 16 by 9 with this letterboxing. What I love about Adobe Premiere is it gives you two tabs. You have a source tab and an output tab. The source tab is what it looks like before, and the output tab is what it's going to look like after I render it. So what I need to do is I know that the aspect ratio for 1280 pixels wide at 235 to 1 is 544 pixels. So make sure you turn off the aspect, maintain aspect ratio here, and we're going to make this 544 pixels tall. So the height is 544 by 1280. Now what that did was that went ahead and made our entire uh, output here at 235 to 1 and it squeezed our footage and added black on the sides. I don't want that but that's the first step. So now I'll go back over to source and click on this crop button here. Now what we need to do is we need to crop the top and the bottom. Now we need to crop the top 88 pixels and we need to crop the bottom 88 pixels. Now how do I know this? Well if we take 720 pixels tall and we minus 544, that gives us 178 that we're going to crop total. So 178 pixels, we're going to crop off this. So that means 88 from the top and 88 from the bottom, equaling 176. Okay, so we got that all done. Now if we click on Output, now we have a perfect 235 to 1 with no black around any edges here, ready to export. Now I do want to mention to you that this is a 720p clip. If I was doing this to a 1080p clip, or even a standard definition clip at 480p, um, these height settings would be different. For 1080p, it is uh, 816. For standard definition, it's 304. And then obviously the crop markings would be different as well. The pixels are different there. But just to let you know, there, there is a difference. This is 720p footage. So if you're dealing with 1080p footage, you're going to have to do your own math here. And actually what I'll do on the blog is I'll go ahead and I will uh, put some formulas on there so that you can figure out what uh, crop settings you need. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and export this out. I'm just going to tell it to save it on the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and click export. So now when I go over here to Vimeo, I have a perfect 235 to 1 piece of footage that I've uploaded with no letterboxing anywhere around it. Um, and it's a perfect fit 235 to 1. So Vimeo accepts uh, pretty much any kind of uh, pixel input that you give it. Uh, this was 1280 by 544, or you could give it 1920 by 816 if it was 1080p footage, or 720 by uh, 304 if it was standard F footage. 
So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I'm Gabriel Mays, and I'll see you next time.